ABC 17 News Sports Zone on Fox 22 KQFX starts now. What is up, everyone? Welcome to Sports Zone. I hope you all had a fantastic Sunday. I'm ABC 17 Sports Director Natalie Jones. Week one of fall camps is in the books. The consensus we got from head coach Eli Drinkwitz yesterday. We're seeing progress, but the Tigers need more of it. Now, we've been talking to you guys all week about the happenings at MU fall camp, but I'm sure you've heard the news around the rest of college athletics. The landscape, it's a shifted again, folks. Teams are moving conferences willy-nilly, and it's hard for even a team in the SEC not to take notice. It's a Mizzou football season with plenty of its own storylines. Who's going to be starting quarterback? Everybody's had, uh, you know, different plays where they've looked really good and different plays where they got to go back and correct it. Which receiver will step past a stacked room and into the limelight with their play on the field? <laughs> will this retooled offensive line under a new position coach pan out? There's a lot of guys really competing for jobs. Needless to say, the Tigers have plenty to focus on in a world with a whole lot of distractions. One of the biggest national distractions as of late has been the constant conversation around conference realignment. With the Pac-12 dwindling down and a new look to college athletics as we know it coming, Coach Eli took a moment to address it all on Saturday. All right, I'm going to say it. I thought the transfer window, I thought the portal was closed. Uh, oh, that's just for the student athletes. The adults in the room get to do whatever they want, apparently. Drinkwitz brought attention to all those student athletes who don't throw on the pads and hit the gridiron. We're talking about a football decision. They base off football. But what about softball and baseball who have to travel cross country? Do we ask about the cost to them? Do we know what the number one indicator of, uh, of symptom of, or cause of mental health is? It's lack of rest and sleep. Athletes across the country will now face a completely new set of challenges. Instead of mostly regional play, an athlete from California may have to hop a flight all the way to the East Coast just to compete. Those people, they travel commercial, they get done playing at four, they got to go to the airport, they come back, it's three or four in the morning, they got to go to class. In a year where Coach Drink says going viral is not the goal, he did hit college sports fans with that statement. But his attention is still on the upcoming season. Well, I feel confident that we're going to play in about three and a half weeks and I got a lot of work to do. There's been some progress early on in fall camp. There's been a really a whole lot of improvement on the offensive line. But still some areas that need some improvement and soon. It's embarrassing for me right now to be honest that that room has got to be better and take more pride uh, in blocking on the perimeter. As the season opener is just a few weeks away. To note, you heard Coach Eli mention the progress on that offensive line under first-year position coach Brandon Jones. Is he right here on your screen? Drinkwitz took a moment to call out Connor Tollison as a guy who's really stood out during fall camp. He says it's looking like Tollison is having fun again and getting comfortable with being the guy in charge. It is just six days of camp, so there's still a long way to go, but hey, at least we're seeing some progress. They know that uh, the best five are going to play, and, and I, I think they're anxious. They have definitely been putting in the work. They have definitely been putting in the work, and, and that has been really fun to see those guys being rewarded. You know, like uh, m making, uh, you know, inside run has been fun again because uh, it's real competitive. You know, the defense will stuff us a couple plays, and then we'll bust through on a hole, and it's, it's been a lot of fun to see.